Hi, this is Michael from the South Orange Public Library. And today we're going to be demonstrating how to use the OverDrive or Libby app to access digital magazines. Um, as you may know, for many years, uh, we have been offering digital eBooks and audiobooks through eLibrary and the Libby app. But beginning in January, we now offer digital magazines through that platform as well. So this will be in two parts. Part one will just be showing you how to access the Libby app or eLibrary. And then part two, we'll be showing you how to use the digital magazine feature. So if you already know how to get on to Libby, uh, you can just skip ahead to the second part of the video. All right, so first things first. Just to define a few words that I'll be using throughout this presentation. Um, Overdrive is sort of the parent of everything. Overdrive is the master company that provides us the platform for all the digital materials that we have. And then below Overdrive, uh, we are part of a consortium in New Jersey of about 50 to 60 libraries and library systems. And together we uh, pool our resources and share a collection. That collection is called eLibrary NJ. And then within that, um, eLibrary NJ, you can use on a PC or a Mac, but if you want to use it as an app on your smart device, you would download the Libby app. So the Libby app is part of the eLibrary NJ consortium, which is part of Overdrive. So first of all, I'll just show you real quick um, how to download the Libby app to your smart device. Um, just bring up your phone or tablet and go to the App Store, and you're going to search for Libby or Libby by Overdrive, and it should be the first uh, first uh, result. The one below here with the blue O um, is active. You can use it, but it hasn't been supported for some time, and it's not as good and robust as this app, the one with the little girl reading a book. This is a really good app and it is always updated. And this is the one that has the digital magazines. So download this to your device. And when you do that, there'll be some one-time setup. Uh, first, it'll just ask you if you have a library card because you do need a library card from the South Orange Library uh, to access this. So you would say yes. And then it'll just ask you, how, it wants to be able to find our library. Um, so I would just go to search for a library or if you have your, um, if, if uh, your settings on your phone are on, it could use the phone to guess wh where you are and it would locate you in South Orange. But I think the easiest way to do it is just search for a library by putting our library's name in or the zip code. Once you do that, it'll ask you to add a library card for eLibrary and you'll say yes, sign in with my card, at which point you'll put in your library card number. This is a uh, the 14 digit library card number on the back of your card beginning with 29507. And once it is accepted, um, it'll say you're signed in and here is your digital library card. Uh, one thing to note is that your account here is linked to your account physically in the building. So if there's some issue with your card, um, such as uh, lost books or it's expired, um, that would have to be reconciled before you can continue uh, using eLibrary. So if there is an issue, just give us a call and we will try to fix it. The last thing it'll ask you is if you read with a Kindle, with an Amazon Kindle, because there's, uh, there's just other features that you get with a Kindle. Um, if not, you just say skip. And then that will take you to the main page of the e-library page. And you can see right off the top, there are the digital magazines. So I'm going to switch over and go to our PC platform. It looks the same on the app. Uh, but it'll just be easier for me to show you on the computer how this works. So if you were to access, if you wanted to use this on your computer and you didn't have a smart device, um, you would come to our homepage, sopl.org and come over here to books and more and you see e-resources or you could come over to the search function, search this website and you could put in e-library or e-books and it would bring it up as well. But under e-resources, You'll, among the many resources here, you'll see ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, and movies. So we'll choose that. And here, the first option is e library, ebooks and audiobooks, now including digital magazines. So we'll click on that, and that takes us to the e library main page. What you'll do is you'll sign in, and it'll be just the same way as with the app. It'll ask you where, uh, which of the 50 or 60 libraries you're part of. You choose South Orange Library. 
and then put in that 14 digit card number and then you would be logged in and you'll have something that looks like this with a set of books. That's your bookshelf uh, on my account. And you'll see here here below are all the eBooks and audiobooks that uh, you've been able to download for I don't know, 10 or 12 years. But right up top are the magazines. And that'll be the second part of what we talk about today, uh, how you can use the digital magazines. So our collection has more than 3,900 magazines available. A lot of popular ones, a lot of obscure ones and technical ones, there should be something for everyone. Um, and along the left-hand side, you'll see a number of options you can use to limit your search, or you can sort them in a number of ways. Uh, you can see under language, most of them are in English, but there are quite a few in Spanish and French and Chinese and other languages as well. So I will limit mine to English for the purposes of this demonstration. One thing to note about the digital magazines is unlike the eBooks and audiobooks, which are one uh, copy per user, which is to say if the consortium has one copy of a particular eBook, then only one person in the consortium can read that eBook at that moment. So you'd have to go on a waiting list if someone was reading it. If we have five copies, five people can read them and so forth. And so very often there are waiting lists for popular books and audiobooks. But here with the magazines, this is simultaneous use so it doesn't matter how many people are reading them at once. Um, you have access to the entire collection all the time. So again, there are ways you can limit your search. Do you want more adult theme magazines, uh, juvenile? Uh, when did you add them? So I might want to look at magazines that are new. So I'll choose last three months. Most of these magazines have at least a year worth of archive, maybe even more than that. Uh, each magazine is different, but there are back issues of these magazines to look through. And I might sort by popularity. What are the most popular magazines? And so we have results here. We have The Economist, uh, Kiplinger's Us Weekly, New Yorker, um, Reader's Digest, uh, you know, very popular, well-read magazines. So just for sake of this demonstration, let's say I want to read The New Yorker. And it has the most current issue which uh, would be the week of February 14th or the 21st uh, as we tape this here. So we click on that and it just gives you a description of the magazine and you can choose to read a sample or you can search through its back issues here. And again, there's a uh, you know, load more, there's at least a year, probably more than that, that I could go back and search through. But if I want the current issue, I'm just gonna choose borrow. And again, you see it's always available and you can borrow it for one, two, or three weeks. So I'll just say on two weeks, and I will say borrow. This does not count toward my five title limit with eBooks and audiobooks. I can only have access to five titles at once. If I want a sixth title, I'll have to return one of the other five. But with the magazines, again, there's no limit to how many I can read, and it won't affect my limit for eBooks and audiobooks. So now I'll read now in browser. So I will read, uh, start by reading the New Yorker. I have the cover here and there's a number of options I can choose right off the top. I can come up here to this letter A and I can choose um, how I want this magazine to appear. So by going up this way or down this way, I will increase or decrease the text size. I can choose um, the background. Do I want just a clear white background? Do I want a more sepia toned background or a dark background? And then there are a couple other uh, a couple other options. The article button gives you options to skip ahead to certain sections, or you could just choose not to have that there at all. And so I can drag the pages like this back and forth if I just wanna read it like I would a standard magazine. If I go to the table of contents, each of these entries is linked. So I could skip right ahead if I wanted to read this short story. I could skip right ahead by clicking on it and it would take me to page 58 and Lauren Groff's story. If I wanna search within the magazine, there's the magnifying glass here. And then down here is this article page, which is kind of a, um, a master edit page where I can skip ahead, skip articles. So by going back and forth, this won't just skip pages, but we'll skip entire articles. So here I go to the next one, a poem, and the next one, uh, a piece of criticism. So I could do that. I could bring up this list here 
and it will give me a list of the table of contents. And again, I could go right ahead to whatever article I wanted. The text option again is here. And then once I had all my, I chose what I want, I could hit done. So again, I just drag back and forth or use the table of contents to skip ahead to whatever article I want to read. This is a zoom option. I can zoom in or out. And I can use this last uh, option here to bookmark particular pages. And if I guess if I wanted to come back later, um, I'd be able to do that. And then just hit escape. The escape button would take me um, out of this. So if I was done, I would just X out and it'll take me here. I have on my bookshelf, this is my bookshelf here. Um, it has the list of everything I have out. Right now it's just the New Yorker. Any eBooks and audiobooks I also had out would be here as well. So again, there's no limit to the number of magazines you can read. Um, they're updated every week so or month or however often they come out and there are back issues. So I encourage you to try this new feature out. Um, it's been requested for many years and finally we're able to offer this. And if, oh, and the last thing is if you want to return, although the magazine after 14 days will just go away, you don't have to do anything. You can manually return it just by hitting the return button and it will be removed from your bookshelf. So if there are any other questions, don't hesitate to call us 973-762-0230 uh, and ask for the reference desk and we can walk you through it. Uh, but it is pretty intuitive and the Libby app also is, is very intuitive as well. So we hope this helps and hope uh, you're able to read some great magazines and eBooks and audiobooks using this great service. Thank you.